What's going on guys? It's King Tuts Pro. Welcome back to another tutorial. In today's tutorial, I want to show you this super cool effect that I saw the other day on Instagram. Also, if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, you guys should. My Instagram is King Tuts Pro. I'll have that down in the description so you guys can quickly follow me on there. Also, if you guys go in the description as well, we'll be taken to my editing website and I have a bunch of editing packs. If you like anything, then please use the coupon code SUMMER20 for 20% off. I saw this effect the other day on Instagram and it's by Sebastian Cortman. Now, I don't know if he actually came up with this effect or not, but I think it just looks amazing. It's pretty much a masked out cut effect. If I push play here, so you can see what it looks like now in the timeline, we have the original photos, okay? So we have them in the timeline. They just repeat themselves, actually. All you do is you just choose an object that you wanna mask out. In this case, we're gonna be selecting the dog on this kayak, I think. And pretty much, you just cut them out in Photoshop, you save that as a PNG, and then you just save the original image, and then that's all you gotta do, literally. Okay, so what you wanna do is go into Photoshop and go to File, New, or just New File here. I'm on the latest version, by the way, so if you just wanna make sure you're on, on the newest version. But if you're on an older version, that's totally fine. The width is gonna be 1080 pixels here. Make sure that's pixels by 1920. And then orientation, we want this vertical there. We don't want any artboards, at least for now. Resolution 72, click Create. This will create a empty project. Unlock the layer, just click the lock icon, and then go into Finder and just drag your image into the application. I've already actually cropped this out, so it looks perfect how it is, but yours will probably look like this, or maybe it might be small, which in this case is a smaller image than the, uh, the canvas. Now what we're going to do is delete the background layer or whatever layers you have underneath that you don't need. So now we're working with one layer, which is our photo layer. So now we just got to duplicate the same layer. Press Command J. Once you have that, you're going to press W on the keyboard. It should bring up the object selection tool. And then what I love about this tool, if you're on the newest version, is you can click and drag. Once you let go, Photoshop will do its magic to do its best to make a selection. I'm actually gonna go now back to this tool here, which is the magnetic lasso tool, because it selected more than I need, so I'm gonna get rid of that. Switch to this tool here. I'm gonna hold Option, and then once you do that, just hover over, I'm on a trackpad, so I'm just kind of moving my finger across underneath, and then kind of going around, and then double click. Once I'm happy with the selection, I'm gonna go down here, so click on this button and now if we disable this bottom layer you're going to see that we cropped out the flamingo paint with white if you want to bring back part of the image just make sure you paint white in this layer mask or if you paint with black which is black the foreground color this will remove parts of the image but not permanently because it's a layer mask i'm going to drag this one next and then i Press enter, press command J to make a copy. And now I wanna make a selection of this bottom half. So an easier way to do this is just by pressing the W key and this will bring the object selection tool. If you're on the newest version of Photoshop, you click and drag to make a selection of what you want to make a selection of, let go. Photoshop will then do its magic and you can automatically see it made a perfect selection around the sand dune and this guy here. So all we're gonna do now is click this add layer mask button and then this will now mask everything out that we just selected. So now if we disable these two and we enable the top one, you're gonna see it did a fantastic job here of cutting out this top area. The bottom here we can easily go and fix. You can see there's a gap in the middle here because you can see the background. So to fix that, just select the layer mask we're gonna paint with white because white will bring back the image. So switch to the brush tool by pressing B, increase the size, and then go over and paint it with white and this will bring back the image like so. Perfect, so now you can see this is the transparent area. Export all of these as a PNG image. To save this one, we're gonna to go to File, we're gonna export and we're gonna to go to Save for Web and then make sure it's at PNG 24. So if you move it, this will mess up the effect. So make sure that this is in the exact spot when you export. So go to File, Export, Save for Web. Again, make sure that there is a transparent background. You can tell by having this checked. Make sure that transparency is enabled because if it's not, it's gonna show a white background. So make sure this is enabled. So in Final Cut Pro, you're gonna see that I've already added all of my images. I'm gonna just show you one more time. So I first created a new project. So I went to File, New, Project. I gave it a name. Of course, 
I've, I've already done that. I'm not going to do this again, but you're going to click on use custom settings. And then for video, you're going to go to vertical. So yours is probably going to be on 1080, maybe 4K. So just switch that down to vertical. Then the resolution, we can switch that to 1080 by 1920. The rate, make sure it's set to 30 as well. Click OK. I've already done that, as you can see here. So, And then now I've already imported all of my photos here. Click and drag the original photos first. So that's what I like to do. When you add it, it's going to say the video properties of this clip are not standard. Just make sure rate is 30. And then uh, from there, all you got to do is just do the same thing for this one. Uh, ignore the length for now. We're going to fix those in just a second. So right now we're just adding these in the timeline. I, I like to work a little bit fast like this personally. Once you have that, you're going to now going to add the PNG images of the same one. So this one here is the one of the dog. So I'm just going to add the same image of that one. So you can tell if I disable the bottom one, it's a PNG image, right? So now he's going to do you know, you're going to go through and do that for each one. Perfect. So now uh, we're going to make each image 15 frames. So what I like to do is I like to go to the beginning, hold shift and press the right arrow key once that will skip 10 frames. And then you can do five after that. So one, two, three, four, five, that's 15 frames. As you can see, then all you're going to do is press command B for the top and the bottom clip, making sure they're both exactly the same, then delete the rest. And then you go through and do that for each of the images. So hold shift, right? And then one, two, three, four, five, that's 15 frames, command B, command B, and then just delete the rest. So just do that for each one. And then you're gonna have to reposition them, but that's totally fine. All right, guys, so I'm on the last one here. So I'm gonna go to the end here, hold shift, right? And then one, two, three, four, five, 15 frames. So that will make it four seconds long. So now I can delete the rest. So now this is what it should look like. Once you've done that, we're gonna select all of the top images, click and drag and make sure that these are in the middle of every other clip. So we're gonna see if we shift it over. I like to look at the first one here. So this is the middle of this bottom clip. So now when we go back and we push play, it's going to look just like this. And then if you wanna make it loop forever, all you gotta do is hold option, click and drag, and then now you can fill it in. And then now it'll repeat itself. So if I push play, it'll look like this. Super cool. And then if you want it to go faster for some reason, just select all of them, right click and go to new compounds clip. And then I'm going to name this, I'm going to name this collage mask effect. And then now I'm going to press command R and then I'm going to click and drag this end piece to bring it in to make it go faster. So now when I push play, it'll look like this. So now if you were to add a song and it has a certain beat, you can, you know, tweak the length of all of them in a single click here to get the tempo right. So if you need it, if it's like a really upbeat tempo, you're probably going to bring it inwards to make it quicker. So when I push play, it'll look like this. And if you have like, say a slower song or something, you might want to bring it out longer. And the reason that this is really helpful is because of their photos. So in reality, you're not working with videos. So you're not messing with the quality at all. I will catch you guys on my next video. If you guys found this helpful at all and you want more Instagram related TikTok effects, let me know. And also be sure to visit my store kingtutspro.com. Link is in the description so you guys can get awesome editing packs and transitions. And I'll catch you next time.